Welcome. To Arcade Audio. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Dilton Paul. I'm Johnny. I'm Spencer. Here on Dilton Paul, we go on Wikipedia. We click random article. And we talk about it. Yeah, we do. Johnny, I started painting my nails. Okay. <laughs> and what's been interesting, I've been doing it for about two weeks now. Yeah. Have you? So you've you've done multiple. This times. is my. Yeah. You're I'm, it, I'm keeping it up. Uh, yeah. I need to. I'm actually. I need to re. I need to strip yeah, it down. Yeah, you do. Start over. I need. I need to get a third one going. Mm-hmm. But um, no one has said anything. Well, I think that it's sort of like the the. Your insides you're reflecting on your outside now. You know what I mean? It's like I, I agree. Well, what has always been there? Mm-hmm. Well, I just expected at least one person, like my boss or mm-hmm. someone, to say something. And the fact that they haven't, I actually love, because it means they know better. And I feel like even like ten years ago, you know, oh, yeah. people wouldn't know better because it's like, well, I'm just not gonna say anything. And that's the right move, dude. Like, yeah, it's the right move to or say very nice. Yeah, sure, sure, yeah. <clears throat> The, uh, I messaged you before, but I'll I'll say it again for mm. the for those folks uh, playing at home. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've been thinking about stretching my ears out again. Yeah, and no one's been giving me a good answer. I'm, I asked I asked Jessica, and she was like, "It's up to you." It's like I hate that's that. not the fucking answer yeah. I want. I I think you should. <clears throat> I think it's cool as hell. Thanks, man. Yeah. Saw some sweet Deadpool plugs. So, uh, <laughs> Fuck. Did I tell you this, man? I saw... What the hell movie did I see? The new Avengers movie. It's, it's fun. I liked it. Go see it. Yeah. But before the the movie were a bunch of all the good trailers for all the new yeah. movies coming out. Mm-hmm. And one of them was the De- Deadpool... Tra- God, I had a really hard time saying that just now. <laughs> the Deadpool 2 trailer. Yeah. And my dude... It made me want to see it. Yeah, I mean, here's the thing. I turned to Rich and I was like, Fuck, dude, I'm going to see that goddamn movie. They got me. The first one wasn't... No, bad. It just wasn't like it was fine. I I wish that um just people had such a boner for it. I I wish I wish that it had gotten a second Passover by a a writer yeah who was like a little more uh, not a little more a lot more sort of like funny funny and and just kind you know it's like mm, I, yeah a lot of the, a lot of the humor is just very like um sh- shocky but sure. in a bad in a in a bad way in like you know, a T J like, Miller kind of way. I, I mean, yeah. honestly, straight up. Here's what I would love, and I don't think they have the. Here's what, like, if they really had balls, they would like Deadpool would shoot T.J. Miller in the fucking head. Straight up and be like, scene in the movie. yeah, and then, and then he'd be like, well, fuck that guy, right? Like, look at the audience and say that. <laughs> that I would pay. Yeah, I would pay twenty dollars to see that movie if it, it was five minutes long, <laughs> and it's just just them shooting on T.J. Miller's neck, like, yeah. That would be incredible. I, I don't think they're going to do it. And and I don't blame them for not doing that because that's a really crazy thing to do. But if they just even addressed it, man, that that would show some real balls. Yeah. Some real intestinal fortitude, as the uh, WWF would say. Intestinal fortitude? Because they don't want to say testicular fortitude on, on, on live TV. So they say intestinal fortitude. That's fun. Yeah. I You know, I, I the other day I said... Like you'd have to be real ballsy to to do that mm-hmm. or something, and I was like, oh, yeah, that's just, not a great thing to say. Yeah, I just realized that right now as I was yeah, saying. Yeah, it. and it's like it's it's it, fine, it's whatever, but it, it's such a it's such a reflex. Exactly, it's like yeah, right, it's hard right. to shake that. Anyway, it's yeah, so I'm, hard to I'm say. trying. Yeah. But I, I said I said it like two days ago, and then I was like, oh fuck, right? Mm-hmm. Ugh, yeah. Anyway, if you don't have those big juicy nuts, <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, this this is whatever. Okay. Fifty sixth Independent Mixed Brigade. Okay. The fifty sixth Independent Mixed Brigade was an Imperial Japanese Army unit of World War Two. I am. Oh, uh, I think we yeah. got a veto this one, baby. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't <sighs> say no more. <laughs> yeah, nothing good can come of this. Yep. <laughs> Japan, World War Two, not interested. I mean, World War Two alone is like by itself. Yeah, yeah. Even I'm sure. Even, yeah, yeah, yep, yep. Yep. We're okay. we're done. <laughs> All right. That's the. I think that's the first veto of the year. I think it is, but because we double vetoed it, it it doesn't count. Is that a rule? That was the rule that we established. We both decided this is bad. We we get out of there. Yeah. Well, that's fair enough. Fair enough. I like that. Maybe it's like if it's anything to do with World War II, just like done. It, it may end up being that's the or, rule. I mean, or not even just World, just anything bad, which is we do usually, but it's just like yeah. <laughs> like I know just enough about what Japan was doing during the war to know I don't want to mess around with them, in in terms of talking about them. Y- y- right. Like right. no, I'm good actually. This is 
an awesome article. Okay. I mean, this is like, oh boy. You know that thing? So my last job, uh-huh. I um worked for a marketing agency, mm-hmm. and all of all it was a very small company, and all of our clients were tier three automotive. Um, is tier three good or bad or is it so, like so division it, three football where it's like they don't really that's so that so what that means is like um tier one mm-hmm. would be the ad from chrysler that's okay. like straight up like this chrysler. is this is a national ad for chrysler cool tier two would be this is um chicagoland chrysler mm-hmm. like like uh go to your local chicagoland chrysler dealer for sick deals for sure. for um Oh, what what is it called? Rocktoberfest. Jeep, Jeep uh, summer. Oh, what was their thing called? Fuck. Jeep Apalooza. Jeep Apalooza. Um, and then tier three is come to Dan's Chrysler. Sure, Gator and Kia. Yep. Mm-hmm. So so it was. That is not something I ever thought I would do, and I now know so much about tier three automotive marketing. So I know <laughs> I have such a specific s- skill set and knowledge. I know. Yeah. I know. I know like it's like some slumdog millionaire shit where you're like why do I know this I know which um, car manufacturers I know the requirements for ad reimbursement for different <laughs> car manufacturers I know the difference between trim levels of cars you know from three or four years ago okay um, you know like all this all this <laughs> super minutia. super specific stuff that no one ever needs to know no yeah so anyway history of the second avenue subway <laughs> Oh man, and it's such a long. This is <laughs> fucking maybe we'll, look at look at look at how long this article is. Holy shit. It's it is so, so long. <laughs> it's comically <laughs> it's comically long. I'm there's still no sp- <laughs> there's no need. I implore you, listener. Look w- at just the footnotes. The footnotes alone are half the article. <laughs> Please go find this article. It's linked in the description. Oh my god! Go find this article. It's so st- it's so hilariously long. It's yeah. There's no way. There's no way that ninety percent of the article isn't just the like lorem ipsum like filler text. There's no way it's that long. The Second Avenue subway, a New York City subway line that runs under Second Avenue on the east side of Manhattan. I hope it's only like four stops. Wait a minute. Uh oh. Has been proposed since 1920. Okay. So it doesn't even exist? <laughs> I don't know. Wait. Fuck. <laughs> the picture says proposed map of the most current plan for the Second Avenue subway, which started construction in 2007. What the fuck, dude? The first What's taking so long? Oh, the first phase of the line, consisting of three stations on the Upper East Side, st- Huh? Started construction in 2007 uh-huh. and opened in 2017. 97 years after the route was first proposed. <laughs> what the fuck? And we'll get to it. We'll get to it, Doug. Shut up. We'll get to it, Doug. Uh, I have some new business. No. Oh, my God. Up until the 1960s, many distinct plans for the 2nd Avenue subway line were never carried out. No, no. Those, we're going to get this one perfect. Those small segments were built in the 1970s. It's just like... Go one stop. Go up gra- above ground. Walk four <laughs> blocks. Go back down. Like <laughs> the complex reasons for these delays are why the line is sometimes called the line that time forgot. That's cool as fuck. This, I I, this is like literally unbelievable. N- nothing should. What if you know it, movies are in like development hell? Yes. What if a movie was just like we're gonna we're gonna make Citizen Kane two. And just fucking like 97, 97 years. years. Yeah. Oh, the line was originally proposed in 1920 as part of a massive expansion of what would become the independent subway system. The Great Depression crushed the original pro- proposal and lack of funds scuttled numerous revivals throughout the 20th century. Meanwhile, the elevated lines along 2nd Avenue and 3rd Avenue, which the... Se- are you, you okay? No, I'm okay. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. okay. Um, I'm just engrossed. Which the second avenue line was intended to replace were respectively demolished in 1942 and 1955, leaving the Lexington Avenue subway as the only rapid transit line on much of Manhattan's east side. By the time the second avenue line was built, the Lexington Avenue line was by far the busiest subway line in the United States, with an estimated 1.3 million daily riders in 2015. And they, they couldn't... Couldn't be bothered. Couldn't be bothered. This is incredible. I... I didn't know that New York had elevated either. 
Um, I don't think there's well, they those were demolished. I, there's more. Oh, so not anymore. Um, I know there's some in Brooklyn. Mm. Uh, that's all. That's all I know. That's it. What were they waiting for? Construction on the Second Avenue line initially began in 1972. Already a crazy amount of time. It really is. Uh, as part of the program for action, but was halted in 1975 because of the city's fiscal crisis, with only a few short segments of tunnels having been completed. Meanwhile, construction of the 63rd Street lines, which would connect the Second Avenue line and the IND Queens Boulevard line to the BMT Broadway line and the IND Sixth Avenue line, <laughs> whew, began in 1969. The first segment of the 63rd Street Lines was opened on October 29, 1989, included provisions for future connections to the 2nd Avenue Line. Yeah, we'll do it. We'll do it. We'll get there. Yeah, yeah for sure. Pinky's work. It's like when you like lay out, like I laid out a bag today for my for my gym clothes and stuff, and, and, and I brought it to work <clears> today. <throat> I didn't go to the gym. But you thought about but it. But I thought about it. I was like, oh, yeah, for sure I'll do that. I mean, that's halfway there. Yeah. Well, I just had a bad day. Th- this is, this is, maybe they just, 97 years of bad days. Yeah, t- tomorrow. That was the thing. Like when I lived in Florida, never went to the fucking beach ever. No, me either. Like no, go to I go to I go tomorrow. I live in mm. Jacksonville. I li- I, you I lived was, on the beach. Yeah, never went. Okay. I, I think the whole I lived there for a year. I think we went three times maybe for That's the whole fucking good. year. That's pretty good. We're at the beach every goddamn weekend here. Yeah, yeah. Because it's like you could always go tomorrow, but now it's like you have two literally two months. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Get in now while you can. And even I don't even think we have two months. Like I was already wearing my jacket again today. <clears throat> we were. I mean, you know this. We were supposed to have a cookout this coming Sunday, sure. Mother's Day. Sure. I looked at the weather. It's going to be like fifty nine and raining. <laughs> like what's up? How's your May? <laughs> like God. what the hell, dude? Yeah, it's crazy. It was pouring. It was pouring down rain so hard yesterday, and the wind was whipping around so just violently. Every time the train doors would open for the next people to get off. It would like, it would be a storm inside the L. <laughs> to the point where people were getting up and like, oh my god, like moving, like to get away from the. It was like crazy. My book almost got wet. Oh no! What book? Animorphs number three, first edition. I'll have you know, the one where Tobias is on the cover for the first time. Are you reading all of them? I'm gonna read all of them. I'm very excited to read all these animorph books. When are we doing our? I thought about. <sighs> you should blog it at least. I was thinking about just like a tweet a day about the about oh, each yeah, book, yeah. you know. And maybe I should. Maybe I will. Maybe you make a separate Twitter called like Spencer Morphs. That was the other thing I thought of too. Hamel Morphs. I mean, yeah, that's a very. Span Spanomptons. <laughs> oh man, <sighs> the profile picture is you turning into a lizard. Why a lizard? That's just the that's the one that sticks the cover in my of, head. Is that the first one? This is the first one. Jake turns into a green anole. Really, an anole. Uh huh. Yeah, mm, Florida style. But and the book you stole me off because they they specifically would say like each book starts out with them being like, "Hey, my name's my name's Jake. I'm not gonna tell you my last name or where I live because I compromised my whole deal." Like that's how all this they all start. Sure. <clears throat> but as you're reading the book, they they mention like, "Oh, we had to go to this place or that place," and so I'm kind of like, "Ooh, I wonder if I can figure out where they are in the country." We had to go to a Publix on A one A. Right. Well, so Cassie. Uh, her mother is a veterinarian and she works for this um, zoo slash amusement park called the gardens. And so I'm like, Oh, you mean like Bush gardens? And so, Jake's turning into a lizard. I'm like, that's fucking Florida. They're in Florida and they're going to the beach and shit for like, and then, but then they had to go to the mountains for something. So I'm back to square one. The space mountains, they had to, the big thunder mountain. Maybe, oh, maybe it was a big thunder mountain. They had to go to splash mountain. Well, okay. We're back in Florida now. I mean, there is a Bush Gardens in Williamsburg, Virginia. That fits the criteria. I bet they're probably have lizards still. It's near the beach. Uh, enough, maybe. I don't know, but I was like, the the real problem is is probably just like yeah, whatever. Exactly. Just the author being, like, I don't know, mountains. Sure, like <laughs> yeah, because Florida ain't got mountains. That's that was. I was like, well, there goes that theory. Isn't it funny that you and I have only lived in goddamn swamps? Yeah. It's very funny. I, I love my life as a swamp man. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know, man. If you're going to turn into an animal, what would you turn into? Like, if you had to be trapped in an animal like Tobias was in book number one, um, a dead cat. A, a dead cat. <laughs> That's smart because they can't feel pain. Yeah, they can't like, feel anything. They really can't, is the thing about a dead cat. And you could just kind of go wherever you want, really. I, I think I would. I feel like I would be a cat. I'm a, I so? love cats. And you would have to have like, like you couldn't 
like you could still be you, like you be your brain or whatever. But I guess you would only have the lifespan of the animal you turn into. Right? Even better. Even better. Yeah. Right. Well, I mean, if like that's... a whale or something, would that be stupid? I feel like being a whale sucks. Yeah. You're so big. You're so fucking big and in the way. <laughs> you can't you know? hide anywhere. I mean, imagine how long it would take to turn around. You know. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> hey, Trevor. Uh, hold on. <laughs> what? Who is it? <laughs> Give me a second. Honey, you forgot your keys. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Uh, so, call my boss. I'm going to be three and a half days late for work. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe like a dolphin, maybe? Let's put the difference between... Are dolphins long-lived? Oh, I don't know about that. They have to be, right? I'm in my, well, here's my guess. Okay. 45 years. That's pretty good. People live twice that on accident. That's too long. <laughs> That's the problem. But you, but whales live for like 150. 100? I mean, they live forever. I feel like they live forever, which was my initial why I wanted to be a whale. But then I was like, well, could you be a plant? Could Ooh, I be a mighty redwood? That's really interesting. Plantamorphs. Wow. That might be a new series. Real boring. What would they? What what aliens would they be fighting? What would they be? What would their deal be? I don't know enough about real animorphs to really comment on this. Yeah, who are the the bad? Okay, the good folks are the Andalites. That's really good that you know that. the The bad folks uh-huh. are the Hork Bajor. Wow, that's crazy close. What is it? Hork Bajir, uh. and they're they're associates of the bad guys. Okay. Wow. I can't believe you knew that. That is weirdly all I know about animals. That's crazy. And if, you, and if you morph too hard, you get stuck. Yeah. If you're like, too radical at it, you just stay that way. Like, <laughs> well, no, dude, you're done. You're done. Um, I, that's, that's, I don't know why I know those two things, but l- literally. There was a TV show on Nickelodeon for a hot minute. I was not into it. Wow. It, it, to me, that show was. Um, Bad? It was. It was. Hey, dude! But everyone turned into animals. <laughs> Holy shit! Like that's 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 what it was to me. I hated Hey, dude. Well, yeah, because it was a bad show. It was yeah. It was the um, it was like worst timeline Slutcher shorts. Straight up, yeah. It was like, oh, you had fun at camp. You live at camp. <laughs> you live at camp, and camp is in the goddamn desert. <laughs> and you work there, <laughs> and everyone's everyone voted for Trump. <laughs> Boy, how about the Met Gala? I feel like I don't. <laughs> I had to look up what the Met Gala was. I, I feel like one, I don't care. No. Two, maybe it's bad. The, the whole thing. Yeah. And three, I don't care. I don't care either. Like, people should just look cool all the time. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. And like, a bunch of the dudes who showed up just looked like dudes at a nice it, event. It, that made me really mad that yeah. the dudes just wore fucking suits. Yeah, like, like no. a lot of the women were like showing out, and then dudes were like, yeah, like they're like too like sheepish maybe to like. It's like, dog, come on. People, I mean, the thing is you wear something bonkos. Right, right, right. I mean, Pharrell yeah. wore a fucking shorts tuxedo <laughs> to like the the Grammys or dinner or something. You know, it's like. <laughs> to dinner. Just like going the out. fucking madman. <clears throat> Who was, was Chadwick Boseman maybe? He, he, he was had fly a good as look. fuck. Yeah. yeah. So it's like, okay, well, thank God for you. Yeah, like the one dude who's like. Yeah, like, oh, did we, so we're not doing this or. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I mean, because I'm doing it. I thought it. it was 80s day for Spirit Week, <laughs> yeah, exactly, guys. Yeah, like, exactly, exactly. Come on. <laughs> <clears throat> Did you ever have to dress up for, or not have to, but you had Spirit Week too? I we have Spirit Week at work, dog. Really? Yeah. Dang. We have a lot of parties. What? Um, well, This this past week was Battle of the Bands. <laughs> Yesterday. Did you battle? I made an appearance. Well, yeah, how, how are you doing? What were you doing? What were you up to? <laughs> I mean, my band won. For real? I I am not this is the first I'm hearing about it. I was not technically in the band, but there's I we don't have to get into it, but there's sort of a a little narrative a couple guys and I have crafted that we are a, a boy band. Uh-huh. Um and we've got some outfits and we made, we did a little performance <laughs> as a as a little gag at the Battle of the Bands. Yeah, and then you won it. Well, yeah, we did. <laughs> so, so you must have been fucking good. I mean the the band had like an a, a there was a full band and we just hopped in for like one song, but they had like a full set. I keep hearing that you won the Battle of the Vans is all I'm hearing from you. Well, did you get a trophy? Two. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was like, you motherfucker. <laughs> um, but anyway, to answer your question, yes, we have a spirit week. Okay. Um, 
<clears throat> what uh, what are some things that you would do? Like like are they different every year? The one's like company colors day. One's what's like, company we, colors? Like purple and orange. Yeah, sure. Why um, not? one's like uh, I think we did like oh one like, year Spirit Week fell um the first week of October. Oh. So on October third, uh, everybody wore pink. What? Or because it was like a uh, the October third was like also a Wednesday. Okay. Uh, it's a Mean Girls thing. Like everybody wears pink oh. on Wednesday, but also October third is like it's October third. The guy, the guy asks her what the date is, and then she like remembers that. <laughs> it's a thing. No, no, I, I, just wait until October third comes around. Yeah, stop trying to make the Spirit Week a thing. We also have like dresses your favorite uh, emoji from Slack. Uh-huh. <laughs> this all sounds very fun. Very like I work at a pretty fun place. Uh, yeah, and I feel like it's so easy to be at a company that like. <clears throat> Just as your favorite emoji, and everyone's like, "Oh my god, kill me!" Like, I don't want to be here. Yeah, but I feel like everyone in your company will be like, "Fuck yeah!" Like, I'm gonna yeah. be the um, monkey with his mouth covered, and yeah. someone else will be like, "Oh shit, I'm gonna be monkey with his ears covered," and then they have like a fun little. We, I mean, Slack also lets you make custom emojis, so we have like, I mean, I'm, I'm an emoji in Slack, so. <laughs> You're an emoji. Yeah. What is your emoji? It's from this boy band thing. Oh my god, dude! I, I keep hearing about this boy band thing. I'll, I'll When's show your you. single I'll coming show out? I'll show you. Dude, we have a music video. Is it on YouTube? Probably. I'll, I'll find it for you. Oh, my God. I'm going to need that. I feel like I don't. <sighs> this is a tricky thing that I don't super understand how I should navigate it. Okay. And that is w- w- you and I are sort of per- personalities. Mm. Um, we're, we're more or less public figures, though. Not 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 super. We're not famous, but we're sure strangers. Listen to right. what we say. Mm hmm. And there's always this like fine line of of how much personal information to divulge. So quite honestly, I might cut out a lot of what we just said because I because you just don't know. And I, it's not hard to find where I work. I'm on the company website. You know what I mean? Like you could search my name and I uh, in Google and the my employee page on the company website would probably show up with your you home know? address and and, and my social. Right. <laughs> so it's not like a secret, but it's also. Should people know? You know what I mean? Yeah, I do know what you mean. Yeah. I, I, don't, I, I don't know the answer. So if someone <laughs> tell me, just send the answer to my work email. <laughs> Smile later. He said this thing that was like so cool and just the like the nicest, most radical thing I've okay. ever heard. All right. He was like, you know, I, I like to bite off more than I can chew. And then feed my friends. Thank you for playing Arcade Audio. Play more at arcadeaudio.net.